Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading for November of 2023. Let's get some shuffles and see what's going on for my Pisces. How are all my Pisces doing? Hopefully you're having a good month. I uh, am on later than usual in the month. Normally I try to get my monthly readings up a little bit beforehand. I just wasn't feeling it this time. I feel like that eclipse energy can really take a lot out of you. Um, we just came out of that. That was on October 28th. We had the solar eclipse and new moon uh, on October 14th. And then we had the lunar eclipse full moon on October 28th. Eclipse energy can really, really drain a person. And that is a good time for rest, relaxation, and hibernation. And I feel like for you Pisces, that's your energy. How do I know? Because I'm a Pisces and I haven't been wanting to do shit. So let's see what we've got for the month of November for Pisces. Right out of the bottom of the deck here, we've got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So Pisces, I'm seeing that you're recognizing that something in your life has been a grand waste of time. And it is an emotionally needy person that's been getting under your skin. Or this could also mean, you know, the Nine of Cups in the reverse is the codependent card. Um, this also could be talking about you wanting to be the healer, the fix-it person, the helper, the person that always gives people the benefit of the doubt. This has been coming up in a lot of the readings tonight. Um, so maybe you realize that you were trying to help somebody that didn't want to help themselves and you've deemed it to be a waste of your time, so you've given up. And good for you, because if it's disturbing your own peace and you're not able to take care of your own needs because you're worried about someone else's, you know, then that situation is, you know, becoming toxic and it's good that you are recognizing that it's not worth your time. And I think you found a lot of peace since you've recognized this. We've got the Empress card in the upright. So this is the mothering card. This is the nurturing card. Um, you could be um, having something on your mind regarding your own mother or a mother figure. Um, so I think your goal is to come into your power and being able to enjoy, like, you know, just letting life flow and just letting what comes naturally to you without having to work so hard to worry about like, trying to be mothering to these people that don't even deserve it. And in the distant past, we've got the Three of Wands. You got tired of waiting. That's right, you got tired of waiting for this person to pull their head out of their ass. And in the recent past, we've got the Temperance card. Because you made the decision that you did and recognized these things, you are finding your balance and finding your peace. Um, it also talks about possible Sagittarius energy. You're recognizing that a Sagittarius in your life or somebody with heavy Sagittarius placements, some kind of energy it could have to do with travel, um, the color dark blue, wisdom, something in that neighborhood. That's, that's all Sagittarius energy. You're recognizing that they're a very positive person in your life, and you've been really enjoying the company of Sagittarius energy lately. And we've got, in your very near future, we've got the Lover's card in the reverse. So... I think that it's verifying that you made the right decision with letting that situation go with the, you know, people that were a waste of time. It's verifying you made the right choice. It wasn't going to get any better. They were going to continue to drain you. Whether they mean to or not, and it's intentional or not, if it's disturbing your peace and you're not able to resolve it, you need to let it go, period. You know... And you don't have to blame the person, but you can simply, certainly remove yourself from the situation if it's not helping you. Interesting, in your self position, we've got the Ten of Swords. 
So that talks about hitting rock bottom. It talks about feeling stabbed in the back. And I feel like maybe the final straw happened with this situation or happened with this person. And sometimes you have to hit rock bottom in order to move your way back up. When you've hit far, far down rock bottom, the only way to go is up. So, you know, that might be the situation that you're dealing with. I'm also seeing some significance having to do with the month of October. That could mean something for you. Could be a birthday, could be a date that something significant happened or is going to happen. And we've got uh, the uh, Knight of Swords in your environment. So I think that the positive person in your life that may be connected to Sagittarius energy, I feel like they're going to come forward with more communication towards you. Um, it doesn't have to be a Sagittarius, but I'm picking up on a lot of Sagittarius energy, or you could have it somewhere in your chart like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, Sagittarius energy also has a lot to do with travel, uh, wisdom, higher learning, higher education. That might mean something significant for you. What action is this person going to take towards my Pisces? I almost said Sagittarius. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So... They are coming towards you, but they're taking things slow. So don't give up just because it's not moving as fast as you want it to. As long as they're coming through with their actions and they're being solid and reliable, don't underestimate them just because they're quiet or moving slowly. Um, you know, give it the chance to see where it goes if your intuition is telling you. Um, if you know the person's a piece of shit, don't wait for them, obviously. You know, but if you're dealing with somebody where you're not really sure yet, things are looking good so far, it may be slow moving, but it is still moving. And it looks like in your outcome, we've got the death card, which talks all about change and transformation. So I think because you're letting this, uh person go that didn't want to fix themselves, that you felt like you were running after them and cleaning up their messes all the time, trying to be the healer and the fix-it person. With this death card in the upright, it's you're letting this situation go and you're embracing this new chapter in your life, whether it's being by yourself and being happy by yourself or that Sagittarius energy that's coming through. You know, there's a new chapter entering your life, and it's looking good for you, Pisces. So I hope that answered some questions. I hope that made sense. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not making sense, it's not your story. Uh, also, check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, Pisces, I hope you have a great night and a great rest of your month of November of 2023. Thank you for watching, Pisces.